this Monday morning. Good morning to you, Mr. Carson. So far, you've been keeping your eye on the radar, haven't you? Yes, very close eye on the radar this morning, Isaac, but it's going to be more important this afternoon. First off, we don't have any severe weather on the radar. We do have some raindrops, though, especially to the north of I-20. So we'll go ahead and zoom in to the majority of this activity. It's anywhere from parts of Wood County getting into Upshur County and Camp County from Pittsburgh, Texas, pointing off to the north. That's where the heaviest rain is at this point. But again, it's starting to move off your screen and out of our viewing area. But we're not out of the woods yet. Let's get you right to future cash showers and thunderstorms, especially across our western counties. This is through noontime today, so if you are heading out this morning, it's probably safe to do so, but just in case you're going to want to remember those umbrellas. Now, as we go into the afternoon, things do start to change. We're going to start this. See this warm front try and push off to the north, but it's going to really struggle to do that. But in front of this front, we are going to be dealing with some showers and thunderstorms, and a few of them could be strong for our eastern counties. Now heading into about 11 o'clock tonight, still some bubble up showers and thunderstorms and anywhere where we're seeing temperatures in the 60s, that's going to be our our best chance of seeing a stronger storm or two, maybe with some gusty winds, maybe with some small hail. But again, that's about it. Now, as we go into tomorrow morning, this front is actually just going to retreat just a little bit down to the south, which will end our shower and thunderstorm chances. And we're generally going to be dealing with just some partly cloudy skies that is throughout the day tomorrow. So your severe weather outlook, this is for today, especially this afternoon and evening. Slight risk of severe weather from Rusk, Nacogdoches County pointing off to the east, while the rest of us just under a marginal risk. So yes, we may very well see a severe thunderstorm or two, but that's about it for our eastern counties. We're in the 50s and 60s right now. That's about where we're going to stay for the remainder of the afternoon as we look at that temperature tracker. So well below average, which is about 70 degrees for this time of year, so almost the complete opposite of what we were dealing with last week. So 60s and 70s for your Tuesday and Wednesday, and then Thursday and Friday, we do have more shower and thunderstorm chances on the way. So pretty active weather pattern over the next seven. Of course, for details and updates on this, you can always head on over to our website.